When describing the distribution of a disease within a population, two indicators are used. Morbidity, the frequency of a disease, and mortality, deaths as a result of a disease. These can be assessed using two different measures of disease frequency, incidence and prevalence. Incidence is the rate at which people get the disease, the number of new cases. Prevalence is burden of disease, the proportion of people in a population with the disease. Which of these indicators is used depends on what you want to know about the distribution of a disease and the actual disease you are investigating. The difference between incidence and prevalence can be explained by using an analogy of a bathtub. The bathtub itself represents the whole of the population being investigated. This could be a country or a specific region or area. The water in the bathtub represents the number of people within the population who have the disease. This is the prevalence of the disease. The water coming from the tap into the bath represents the incidence of the disease, the number of new cases. The water level in the bath increases adding to the prevalence or burden of the disease within the population as a whole. Those no longer with the disease, either due to death or cure, are represented by water leaving the bathtub from the drain. An increase in the incidence of a disease may increase the prevalence of the disease, but this also depends on the rate at which people are being cured or are dying from the disease. Let's look at an example. Cancer is measured using incidence rather than prevalence. This is because cancer is often a disease of relatively short duration. Even with advances in treatment, a lot of people with cancer will die shortly after diagnosis or may even be diagnosed after death. If we return to the bathtub analogy, in cancer, water enters from the tap and quickly leaves the bath via the drain. With the water quickly leaving the bathtub, it would not be useful to measure the water in the bathtub at any given time, the prevalence. It would be much more useful to measure the water entering the bathtub from the tap by measuring the number of new cases, the incidence. A contrasting example is COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Prevalence is used as COPD is usually a condition with a long duration. Most people are diagnosed and live with the condition for a number of years. The number of people living with COPD, the prevalence as represented by the water in the bathtub, is a more useful measure than just the number of new cases. With long-term or chronic conditions such as COPD, we are more interested in the water in the bathtub as there is a plug keeping most of the water from going down the drain. The water coming through the tap is only giving us part of the picture.